Hi, welcome to tutorial number 20 in this lecture series on logical reasoning. It's been a fascinating journey for me. Hope you are benefited and found it useful. Today it's going to be yet another circular arrangement problem since this is one type students keep struggling with all the time. You will probably find this problem slightly tough and that has been done on purpose. If you can crack this difficulty level, you will probably be able to crack everything else quite comfortably. So let's go to the question now. Let's see how much we have learned, how good we have become and how quickly we can solve these tricky problems. Here's the question. This problem given here is about eight girls who are sitting at a circular table. All of them use Android phones, but each of them uses a different version of Android. Now with the help of the 15 statements given in the problem, we need to figure out their seating arrangement and the version of the mobile operating system used by each of them. Now my advice here for you would be to pause the video for some time. Attempt the problem first and restart the video once you are done with solving the problem. You can get a downloadable copy of this question from our website as well. So let's proceed with solving the problem now. This is the structure that we are going to make. So it's a circular structure with 8 boxes, each box divided into 2 parts. So we'll put the names of the girls in the upper part of the boxes and the android versions in the lower parts. Ok, let's start with the statements now. We'll first use statement 12 which says that the gingerbread user sits at the third position to the right of Olivia. So at this point we can pick any two boxes with a gap of two boxes between them. Say these two. So let's put gingerbread and Olivia here. Gingerbread in the lower part and Olivia in the upper part of the respective boxes. So you can clearly see that the gingerbread user is at the third position to the right of Olivia. Please remember that all these people are facing the center of the table. Let's move ahead and look at our next statement. Statement 11 tells us that the Froyo user is the only person sitting between the gingerbread and KitKat users. This is the position of the gingerbread user. So one possibility for Froyo and KitKat is this. So you can see that Froyo is between gingerbread and KitKat. But that's not the only possibility. Look at this one. In this case also, Froyo user is the only one between KitKat and gingerbread users. So that's also possible. Let's leave it like this and look at statement 3 now. It tells us that Olivia is not an immediate neighbor of the girl who uses KitKat. This is Olivia here at the bottom of the structure. And we can see that if KitKat and Froyo users occupy these boxes highlighted in yellow, then Olivia and KitKat user would be sitting beside each other, which would violate the condition given in statement 3. So that's not possible. So the correct positions of KitKat and Froyo users would be the ones in blue boxes. Alright, let's move forward and look at statement 9 now. It tells us that the Froyo user sits at the second position to the left of Daisy. Now this is Froyo user in the structure. If she is sitting at the second position to the left of Daisy, Daisy must be sitting at the second position to the right of the Froyo user. So this would be the position. So let's write Daisy here. This is where we stop now and call this configuration 1. We are doing this because we cannot find enough connected statements to put any further data in the structure. So if we try doing that, it would result in multiple cases which would be difficult to handle. So what we'll do is that we'll make another parallel configuration and then later try merging the two, configuration 1 and configuration 2. So that's configuration 2. Let's try and fill this up. Look at statement 1. Lauren sits at the third position to the right of the girl who uses donut. So we can pick any two boxes with a gap of two boxes between them. Say these two. Now let's put Lauren and donut here. We can easily see that Lauren is sitting at the third position to the right of the donut user. Let's move forward and look at statement 6 now. It says that exactly two girls are sitting between Alice and the donut user. So this is the position of the donut user. So if there are two girls between Alice and the donut user, the two possible positions of Alice are these two, highlighted in yellow. But we can see that one of them has already been occupied by Lauren. So Alice would fit in the other one. This is it. Let's move forward and look at statement 4 and 15 together now. So from this we get to know two things. One, 
that the cupcake and eclair users are immediate neighbors and two that neither lauren nor alice uses either cupcake or eclair so it basically means that these three boxes are ruled out for the cupcake and eclair users one has already been occupied by the donut user so cupcake and eclair cannot be fitted here and the rest two by alice and lauren neither of whom we are told uses either cupcake or eclair so if we look at this structure one possibility for cupcake and eclair is this and this is the other possibility now at this stage we cannot say which of them is right so what we'll do now is that we will break configuration 2 into two parts something like this and call these two parts configuration 2a and configuration 2b in 2a eclair and cupcake would be placed between alice and donut and in 2b eclair and cupcake would be placed between lauren and donut but since we still don't know which of the two boxes would be occupied by eclair and which one by cupcake let's use statement 8 first it tells us that the eclair user is not an immediate neighbor of the donut user so it's clear now that the cupcake user would be the neighbor of the donut user so let's fill it up like this so we can see that it doesn't violate any condition in either of the two cases so now we have got two parts of configuration 2 in front of us only one of them has to be correct so we'll try merging configuration 1 with 2a and 2b separately so let's start with configuration 2a first this is it so let's see if this works in this current position if we place configuration 1 over 2a daisy would be an immediate neighbor of alice but look at this statement statement 10 it tells us that daisy is not an immediate neighbor of alice so it means that it would violate the condition given in statement 10 so this orientation is not possible so let's rotate configuration 2a and arrive at this now in this one we can see that alice and daisy are occupying the same position so this is again not possible let's rotate it again again we can see that alice and daisy are neighbors which we know is not possible so this is again ruled out rotating one more time now we can see that lauren and daisy are occupying the same position so that's not possible let's rotate it again now in this one there is a clash between cupcake and gingerbread they cannot occupy the same box so it's also not possible we rotate it again and arrive at this one now in this one eclair and gingerbread are occupying the same place so that's again not possible rotating it again we arrive at this one now we can see that eclair and froyo are occupying the same place so that's not possible and now this one and in this there is a clash between eclair and kitkat which is also not possible so we have done the complete rotation of configuration 2a we have seen all the eight possibilities and now can easily say that none of the orientations of configuration 2a is compatible with configuration 1 so it means that the assumption that we took while making configuration 2a was incorrect and this is not possible so the correct one would be configuration 2b so now let's try merging 2b with configuration 1 again let's proceed similarly in the current position alice and daisy would be neighbors which is not possible as per statement 10 so this is not possible let's rotate it and look at this one now alice and daisy are occupying the same place so again not possible now this one cupcake and gingerbread are occupying the same place so again not possible let's rotate it now donut and gingerbread are occupying the same position not possible look at this now donut and froyo are in the same position not possible let's rotate it now donut and kitkat are in the same position not possible look at this now this does not have an obvious clash but look at statement 7 it says that olivia does not use eclair and if we look at this if we merge these two olivia would become the eclair user so that's again not possible let's rotate it and check this one now now this doesn't seem to have a problem we can merge the two so this is fine this looks great so that's our final merged structure let's keep this one and look at our next statement which is statement 
it tells us that ruby sits to the immediate right of the honeycomb user now there are just two boxes in the structure in which the operating system is not written one is this so let's put honeycomb here so in this case ruby would occupy this box so let's put ruby here so that's one possibility another box in which there is no operating system is this box so let's write honeycomb here and then ruby would occupy this box so let's put ruby here so these are the two possibilities for honeycomb and ruby one in yellow boxes and two in blue boxes let's leave it like that and look at statement 5 now it tells us that lauren doesn't use honeycomb but here in the yellow boxes we can see lauren as the honeycomb user it means that this assumption was incorrect and blue boxes is the one that will go with okay let's look at statement 2 now it tells us that nicole is not an immediate neighbor of the froyo user we can see that alice is the froyo user here now there are three boxes here in which the name of the girl is missing these three highlighted in yellow now out of these three we cannot put nicole in these two because alice who is the froyo user becomes an immediate neighbor so nicole has to be put in this third box okay so this is how it looks now lauren is the only one for which there is no operating system written and the only operating system left now is lollipop so lauren must be the lollipop user let's put it here all right let's look at statement 14 now it says that maya and lauren are not immediate neighbors now there are just two positions in which the name of the girl is not written these two and that's the position of lauren so maya cannot occupy this position and then naturally this becomes the position of maya so she is the one who uses kitkat now we are left with just one last box and the only girl left is kati so let's put kati here so that's our final structure with eight girls and their respective operating systems so that's how it's done not much different from the previous problems based on two parallel configurations but here we introduced another possibility that of dividing one configuration into two cases so think of it as another tool in your problem solving toolkit do it when you think it's going to help and mind it this problem could be done without employing this technique as well so this is it for today keep practicing that's the key to master these problems that's absolutely vital remember that there's no substitute to hard work give it your best shot goodbye and take care